Okay, this is my latest product for review. This came from banggood.com. There'll be a link in the video description. And this is a product I have been really waiting for with eager anticipation. This is a scale model or replica of something called a strand beast. There's this Dutch artist called Theo Janssen who's created these amazing animated creatures, wind-powered mechanical beasts called strand beasts that, uh, that he's, he's assembled on the beach. They're powered by the wind and they have this walking motion that's, that looks uncannily like an animal. So this is a model of one of those that I can assemble myself. There's a little bit of blurb there from the artist himself. And there's instructions on exactly what's inside the box. So let's just have a look and see what we actually get. Okay, so there are neatly bagged parts still attached to their sprues, some of them. A general first impression of the kit. It all seems very good quality actually. Seems, seems like it's very nicely moulded. I don't see any ob obvious imperfections or defects in the thing. I guess what I need to do now is assemble this thing and then we can have a look and see what it does. I've just noticed actually there's several pages of instructions on the back here which all look very lucid and clear. So I think the thing to do is let's have a go. Let's see if we can put it together. The first thing I think I'll do is just separate out all the pieces and lay them out in the same arrangement as they are here. The quality of the injection moulded pieces is actually quite high, although some of them are just coming away with just a trace of the sprue on there, so what I will do when I assemble the model, I'll just shave that off just so it's nice and neat. Alright, so that's all of my pieces laid out approximately as they are in the parts list. Everything appears to be present and correct, so now I'm going to start assembling. So uh, that's all 12 legs done. That actually went together really easily and I'm quite uh, impressed with the engineering of this. The, the whole thing fits together very well. None of the pieces needed any forcing or anything like that and they move very freely. I'm actually really impressed with the quality so far. I think I've worked that out now. That's actually quite tricky. The instructions are fairly clear and it's actually not that difficult to follow but it's just one of those things you have to read it through several times before it makes any kind of sense. Cool, now I know what I'm doing the rest should be really quite easy. It's just a case of repeat that section. After a little while you don't need the instructions anymore when you're doing this routine bit because it's just repetition of the other sections you've created already and so it all gets a bit easier. It is very important the order of these clips onto the crankshaft. If you don't get them in the right order they will interfere with each other and the thing will still turn but it will it'll jam as it turns. So there we go, I've assembled all six, well all twelve legs and then the next thing to do is those bits there clip together. The two crankshafts have a joint in the middle. And the frame clips together somehow. Just a question of getting it lined up as you go. So there we go. So that is actually the, the main body of the strand beast. And it's already looking quite impressive. As I turn that, you can see all the legs working. That's quite incredible, isn't it?
amazing bit of engineering. Right, back to the instructions. Okay, so conclusion on this product. Right, this thing cost less than £10. That I think is quite amazing for a model that, that works in this way. I'm actually thrilled to bits with this, with this product. It's an, an incredible piece of engineering. My hat is off to you, Mr Janssen, for inventing the Strand Beast. And I'm also very impressed with the way this has been scaled down to a desktop model that, that anyone can build. It is a little bit tricky, there are lots of small parts, so there's potential for great frustration here. But I'm not a model maker, so this is kind of probably still beginner level, I would say. But you just need a little bit of patience and probably a couple of hours to, to assemble this. Take your time and it comes together all very nicely. The instructions are nice and clear and the end result is this device which is just incredible. Look at this, watch. and it walks without any effort at all really. That's quite incredible. So there we go. So, overall impression, tremendous value for money. It's an amazing piece of engineering. I thoroughly recommend this product. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of the same, why not click here to subscribe? Alternatively, click here to visit my channel. Or you could click here to visit the Atomic Shrimp website.